Cincy UCF, 3.30 p.m. Eastern kickoff at the Bounce House. The Bearcats are minus 5.5 on the road, total 62 points. Cincinnati 7-0 straight up on the season. 42 points a game on average of their scoring. The Bearcats have scored 15 touchdowns through the air and 24 TDs on the ground. Nearly four touchdowns a game they're rushing for. Running back Jared Dokes has touched it 109 times for 563 yards and seven touchdowns. Dokes is averaging 5.2 yards per touch. Meanwhile, quarterback Desmond Ritter is averaging nearly nine yards a carry. Absolutely phenomenal out of a quarterback. And he's punched it into the end zone nine times on the ground himself. But it's not just all offense in Cincinnati this season. Actually, really, a lot a lot of folks would say the cornerstone is the defense. This Bearcat D is giving up just a dozen points a game. And they're holding their opponents to under 190 yards a game passing. They also have 21 sacks on the year and a dozen interceptions. Cornerback Ahmad Gardner has a trio of interceptions from the secondary. Five PBUs and 21 tackles for Gardner. Kobe Bryant, and that's Kobe spelled with the letter C, C C-O-B-Y. But once again, Kobe Bryant also has three interceptions from that cornerback position. Five PBUs and 24 total tackles for Bryant. Meanwhile, Jarrell White leads this Bearcat defense with 65 total tackles along with a pair of sacks. The senior linebacker also has two PBUs and a pick six. Uh, One more defensive guy, can't forget about him, edge rusher MyJ Sanders. He's got five sacks on the year himself. Uh, Did not want to leave him out. But anyway, total-wise, four out of Cincy's last six contests stayed under the posted number. Uh, Their defense, once again, is giving up just a dozen points per contest. They've been outstanding. Meanwhile, UCF's last two outings stayed under the line themselves. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward the Cincinnati Bearcats, minus 5.5 in the under 62 in that contest. And with that, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the show. Uh, It's an 8 o'clock game, and we do have it on our big screen. It is going to be Navy, South Florida, 8 p.m. Eastern kickoff in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Probably my my favorite city in all of the United States. But anyway, the U.S. Naval Academy's minus three on the road totals 56. Navy's won 